going on people welcome back to my personal channel welcome back to another review for you guys today it's chelsea one norwich city nil before we start this video i just want to say if you haven't done so already don't forget to like and subscribe to my personal channel and also don't forget to press the bell notification button be the first person to know whenever i release any new content now chelsea won norwich city nil and after that dead dead performance against sheffield united we needed something to give us a bit more motivation and i'm not sure if i can say this game gave us that motivating feeling but it is three points at, at the end of the day so i don't want to complain too much about it i will say if you guys are still awake after the end of that second half i give you full credit for that because sorry that second half dragged for ages and i will say towards the end the game management was good from chelsea we tried to see out the game the same way norwich city tried to drag the game for long periods in the first half and we knew not to underestimate norwich and i will say their game management wasn't that bad it's just a shame on their point of view that their quality wasn't that good on the ball because i liked what they were trying to do i could see what the, what their game plan was i think with a better team it might have worked but there's a reason why norwich are bottom of the league and to be honest as much as they tried whatever they were translate what they were trying to do in their head they couldn't translate to their feet and most of the counter tests they tried to do they never really saw out it was pretty easy for us to stop them progressing their attacks but it wasn't it was harder trying to stop them from starting it they're a very good pressing team and they are quick on the ball it's just the end product really isn't there and the further they get up the field the more lost they seem to look midfield had had their work cut out for them with norwich but they handled them for long periods now when the lineup came out i was i liked everything except the defense because i was a bit worried that the defense didn't have as much technical qualities i wanted to see and i thought if there was anyone who was going to get caught out it was going to be one of the defenders zuma struggles on the ball a little bit rudiger definitely struggles on the ball especially under pressure but to all of their credit they had a good performance today so i'm not going to complain too much and also norwich didn't really threaten them that much either they, they did try to press high up the field but both teams were just trying to play the ball slowly and we were just better under control of the ball uh midfield i thought we struggled to hold off norwich for periods i thought Jorginho could have been a lot better when it came to passing forward but he did well to recycle possession but fans weren't happy with his performance because they did want to see something with a bit more bite to it from Jorginho, especially after the sheffield united game where he got bypassed for long periods of the game but i think this game suited Jorginho a lot more they were going they were going to give him less time on the ball I think Jorginho is a lot better when he has to play under pressure because all he all his best asset is is about recycling possession and finding next man. He's good at doing that under pressure. Um, first goal came from Olivier Giroud, Christian Pulisic down the left hand side, where we were threatening a lot down by that left hand side. Alonso had a very good game today as well. Some of his crosses were very threatening, and it was unlucky there wasn't someone on the end of it. But Giroud was on the end of Christian Pulisic's goal and to be honest, their link up throughout the game was very promising. Unlucky with the end product because there was a lot of Norwich players defend defending and their defensive shape was very strong. But eventually a goal had to come out of nowhere, otherwise we probably would have ended up getting more frustrated and that would have opened the game up for a couple more mistakes on our end. That goal came at the perfect time as well, it was just before half time. And that would have been a kick in the teeth for Norwich City because that changes the aspects of both team talks norwich would be coming in a lot more promising if they were going in at half time at nil nil we'd be going in a lot more worried going in at half time at nil nil that changes the aspect of both half time team talks and to be fair i expected norwich to try and come out a little bit more but they still try playing that patient game i didn't really see much from them throughout the entire game they just didn't really have that much bite to them they brought off todd cantwell surprisingly early as well i thought they'd keep him on for the full 90 Pookie came on late but didn't really do much team definitely looked a lot more gassed in the second half as well i was really surprised that william didn't come off the field because he's been he didn't come off against sheffield united and to be honest he's been running to the ground in most games he wasn't even that good against sheffield united either i liked his tracking back he tracked back very well but i would have liked to see him come off a little bit earlier i get why pulisic had to come off though because we do want to rest him for the manchester united game drew also kept coming off a bit later but we both players at the point where they both came off for the last 10 minutes so i'm thinking wouldn't really have made a difference keeping them on or off the pitch at that point 
Uh, one thing I didn't like with Lampard is that I kind of think we could have done more of our subs. We really looked like we ran a couple players into the ground and we got tough fixtures coming up. So I would have liked to see a bit more rotation around the team. I was also very surprised not to see hudson Adoy on the pitch because I don't think we'll see him start a game for the rest of the season now. Every other game is too important. I think this would have been a great opportunity to see what he could do with a starting position because I don't think he started any game for us since we've come back from lockdown. Um... I'm going to run through the player ratings quickly. Uh, Kep, we'll start with Kepper in goal. We'll give him a five, really. He really didn't have much to do. Like, a guy could have just pulled up a program for the second half and just started chilling. He didn't have anything to do. So, just gets a base five rating. As for Equator, um, had a couple decent deliveries in from the box, to be fair. Um, struggled a little bit on the right-hand side at the start, but... After that, it was just very comfortable from him. So I'll give Azpilicueta a six. Kurt Zuma, um, very good chance in the first half. I will say that. It's hard for me to talk about defense. They really didn't have much to do. Zuma was just more recycling possession, if we're being honest. And bar that first chance, I didn't see much from him. So I'll give him a six as well. Rudiger, long passes, a lot better today. I will say that. He found Willy and he found Alonso a good couple times. Played a much more safer game today after that West Ham performance and a couple games on the bench. I thought it was a good performance from him today, so I'm going to give him a six as well. Marcus Alonso, I'll push him to a seven. Very good on that left-hand side. Looked comfortable. Good deliveries in as well. Always a bit of a threat on that left-hand side. I'm going to give him a seven. Kovacic, brilliant. He and it was great to see him back on the field. And he looked back to his normal self. Beating a lot of players and impenetrable as usual. He's going to get a seven as well. Jorginho, I'm going to give a five. Um, it was a much better performance than it was against Sheffield United, but you still wanted to see a bit more attacking threat from him because I just, a lot of those passes were just backwards or sideways. And I get about recycling possession, but you still want to see him try and have a bit more attacking purpose. And I think he was just a bit too conservative for me today. So I'm going to give him a five. Loftus Cheek used his strength very well today. Um, petered out a bit more towards the second half, but he's still trying to get back to full match fitness. And to be honest, we just want to see him get a bit more and more confident on the ball. Had a good chance as well, a decent header from what I think was an Azpil Equator cross. So I'm going to give Loftus Cheek a six. Willian, I'm going to give him a six because I thought he tracked back well. But I think his attacking play did let him down a little bit. Some of the crosses weren't great. Some of the corners weren't great either. Some of the corners got a bit better as the game progressed. But at the start, they weren't. They were terrible. So I'm going to give William a six. Olivier Giroud, seven. I'm going to give him my man of the match. I think he could have had a couple more goals today. But he kept himself around and he was threatening throughout the match. So I'm going to say he was our most vital player for us today. And his link up with Pulisic was brilliant throughout the match. So I'm going to give him a seven. Pulisic, I'm going to give a... Am I going to go a 6 or a 7 for Pulisic? Um, I think I'll go a 7. I don't think he had as much impact as he has had in some other games, but I still think he was very threatening. Didn't really get out of first gear as much as, as we have seen in previous games, but he's still linking up well with Olivier Giroud. And... Yeah, I don't think he had a bad performance today. I'm going to give him a 7. Uh, let's go through the subs. Reese James too late to really see much from him i don't think i'm gonna give him a rating and to be honest i could say the same for most of the players like tammy abraham came on very late and so did hudson adoy barkley i think is the only player i could give a decent rating to and he was on the pitch for a decent amount of time and to be honest he weren't that bad he was carrying the ball well didn't really have a lot of final impact but he didn't he didn't do anything wrong for the time he was on the pitch so i'm gonna give ross barkley a six uh, yeah, that is my full review and player ratings of Chelsea 1, Norwich City 0. This match was must win and as, as long as it dragged for a little bit, I don't really care too much because we got the performance, that, well, we got the result that we wanted. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G. Don't forget to press that bell notification. Uh, don't forget to press that bell notification button as well to be the first to know whenever I release any new content. I'm really struggling with getting words out of my mouth these days. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Peace.